uh, ROS1 is uh, another oncogene-like ALK. It's actually a, um, very re closely related to ALK, and chromosomal rearrangements of ROS1 can lead to activation of ROS1 and creation of this oncogenic, what we call oncogenic ROS1 that's driving the growth of tumor cells, creating a state of dependency on ROS1, and there are drugs that target ROS1 really well. Um, in fact, some of those drugs are the same ones that target ALK. And uh, we now have at least one drug um, for patients who have ROS1 rearrangements that we've just published um, and shown the really high response rates and very, very prolonged durations of response. So we're excited to have this as another option. ROS1 is not that common. Um, it's less common than ALK. ALK is found in about 3 to 5 percent of our patients. ROS1 maybe in about 1 percent of our patients. But it's really critical to look for ROS1 because these patients have such good targeted therapy options. You wouldn't want a patient to miss out on the opportunity to be on a really effective targeted therapy. So you get, we have to search for even the rare mutations like ROS1.